No, that's okay. <laughs> ah, he tried to blind me. Okay, guys. Ah. I keep trying to do this live video. It's not working. I don't know why. It's got to be my connection. I don't know, but hopefully it'll keep going. Please stay. So I've already got the Stila cleaned off uh, with the hot soapy water, and now I've got my baby wipe, my fresh clean baby wipe, and I'm just going to start cleaning it. Basically, I'm rubbing out product until I see that there's no more black from the mask. And sometimes you got to really dig into the makeup. Alright, I feel like most of that is off now. See? Oh, I'm wiping more on. Sorry. Here we go. Okay, so now that's done. Put it in my garbage over there. And now I spray with alcohol. Let me hold this really quick and let my son get a chair. There's a stool right there. Any bothers? Nope, not yet. Because we don't seem to want to get this down right here, guys. Okay, so I sprayed it with alcohol and now I'm going to leave it just like that to dry. There's the lid to it, so I just go ahead because it's pretty saturated and it's already drying, it's sticky. I'm going to put it in the hot water and actually clean it like you do the dishes. Go through, scrub the inside, the outside. <coughs> My son's videoing now, so you guys, if you if you start watching, you can ask questions now. I couldn't see him before, but he can read pretty quickly. Okay, so this one has a pop-top lid, so I need to be able to get that off so I can clean it. Let's see here. That's all right, though. open our napkins here. Our free napkins. Did I mention they were free? Oh, man. I'm having serious technical difficulties today, you guys. Oh, oh well. That'll be alright. We'll get it. Do we have any watchers yet? Nope. Okay. It's still going though, right? Yeah. Hallelujah. We got one to go. Recap, I get gloves, I get napkins, I get baby wipes, I get alcohol, prep, I keep the Ulta hygienic cleanser I find, and I keep a box with a clean towel for all of my clean stuff. So, okay, we have her all cleaned up. She is being sanitized right now, so we're gonna just dry her off and let her dry. Same with this one, we're just gonna dry it off. And there we go. Okay, now, here is the crayon stick. Do you guys see for that particular piece? You see it? Ugh, it's bad, right? Start with your towel, your dry towel, okay? And what you're gonna do is gently, do not squeeze it hard, you guys. Gently start rolling it to remove whatever soup they have put on. Today it was a charcoal mask. Okay? So. I just keep wiping. Like I said, gentle. Don't You don't want to press it. You don't want to squish it in between your fingers, right? You don't want to make it worse than it is. Okay? Let's see. We can get, okay, so that's a pretty good, I mean, it already looks substantially better, right? 
Yeah, you can tell it's the actual thing. Right, it's actually... It's not black. Holy torpedoes, Batman. It actually looked like a piece of coal earlier. Okay, so now what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to take my baby wipe. And I'm going to repeat the same process, but with a baby wipe. Okay? So the same thing I did with this dry towel. I'm going to transfer it over, throw my towel out. And then I'm going to start with my thumb, if you don't, I don't know if you guys can see, but on the back of it, I use my thumb and I'm just rolling gently to get all of the non-product off. And you guys saw, like, the bags themselves are not filled with trash or, I mean, they have, like, paper trash in them, yes, but there's no, like poured coffee or food or anything like that mixed into the bags. So I'm not worried about that I'm having to remove food or even really bacteria because the bags are inside of other bags, inside of other bags. Inside of boxes. Inside of boxes. So typically I'm not having to um, get too far gone, but you can see how deep that crevice goes there. Sometimes it's easier to do... Um, Hold on, let me clean off this piece here. Okay, so sometimes the easiest way to do that is get a clean part of this uh, baby wipe, and then I get either a screwdriver, bobby pin, a, a regular pin, it doesn't matter. I'm using a screwdriver right now because I happen to have one sitting here. And I wrap it up inside the little towel, and then I start gently, again, be careful guys, you don't want to ruin your already pretty souped thing, right? So see how it's coming out of there? Okay, let's go. Man, I was really trying to do this live and it wasn't, wasn't letting me go live, I'm so sorry. Okay, so then a clean part of the baby wipe and go in again. And I just start cleaning out all that face mask that they put in there. Isn't that nice of them? They gave me a face mask to make my, my face look prettier. Make sure the makeup doesn't have any dirty pores. Honestly, I mean, they probably sanitized it with the... <laughs> Mini watchers. Makes me feel like we're not live, but maybe we are. I don't know. It says live at the top and the... Light didn't shut off yet, but... You probably got tired of me going live and getting... <laughs> Pulled off. Yeah, I told you guys it was going to be kind of a boring video. But at least you're learning how to salvage what you can. To some people, this is very exciting. Or interesting. I guess not excited, but interesting. Exciting. <laughs> so exciting. So again, clean part. And I try to use as much of the baby wipe as I possibly can, right? Like, just keep keep twisting it until you use most of it. Move it to a clean part. Almost have this one done, guys. It's not far off. Anybody come on? <clears throat> doesn't smell bad. Mm-mm. Charcoal doesn't really have a smell. No. Alright, let's see. We're getting there, guys. Almost all the black's out. We're getting there. Okay. I chose this soup because it's not terrible, but it got deep enough that I could show you kind of how to save some of the stuff. So. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put that, throw that away. That, towel, that baby wipe is basically done. So I get another baby wipe, a new one. <coughs> I'm gonna start the, the rolling process again. Okay, so put it in the baby wipe. 
wrap it up like a little baby, right? And then you're going to start the rolling process. Actually, I need to flip it over. Hold on. Sorry, I put the top up there because I'm right-handed, so I roll that way. And now you just keep... Keep spinning and wiping until, again, you get down to actual product. Because you don't want little gel charcoal mask melting off. And speaking of, I still have a little bit more inside, so we are going to, I get anal about it. So yeah, if they are souping like the insides of things, somebody asked me earlier about what do you do if they soup a lip? I sanitize it with alcohol. I dig, I dig it out. Um, I'll take the first layer off of a lot of things typically, which is basically what I'm doing here with baby wipes. So I'm just doing it gently so it stays smooth and I'm not doing anything to jeopardize the integrity of the shape. And one little bit more black in there, and I think we're about done. This one, and then I will show you how I connect them. It's been a long day, you guys. My son and his friend came over, and they helped me clean out my back garage. And it was a mess. It was like dumpster diving in my garage. <laughs> Anybody on? Mm -hmm. Hey guys, that's it. I got it all out of there. Okay, so now what we do is I'm going to. Just lightly. No, I'm just barely going across it. I'm not trying to get. I don't want it dripping on me. Okay. Just want it that little bit of a shine. And then I see where they broke it off. Okay. My baby light. Press and spin, press and spin. Okay, so now I'm going to hold here and I'm going to start pressing her down. And I twist down and gently press. Twist down and gently press. Twist it down. <clears throat> goal is to be able to get it all the way down in the tube. Perfect. Okay. Bag. Now I have a dry towel. I'm go through and clean up outside. Okay. Another clean baby wipe. Now I'm going to spin it back out. And as I'm spinning, I'm going to start cleaning off the edges of it. This just smooths out the product again so that it will, again, maintain its integrity of 
being what Stila, you know, intended it to be. My poor son's sitting here watching makeup like, Mom, seriously? I tried to do it by myself. Keep kicking me off. I don't even know if it's working right now. Could be doing all this for us. Woohoo. Get to learn how, how to clean off makeup. Just what you thought you would be doing at 10.30 at night. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you guys, he's so tired. He's really helped me out a lot. He's been going, going, going. Hopping in dumpsters for me, cleaning out garages. He even had his friend come over and help me today, so. I made him steak for dinner. Good steak. Oh, now he speaks. Now he has a voice. Now we hear the boy. I assume nobody's on yet, huh? Nope. Are we on the right site? We're on Facebook. Oh, and that part. Go up here to the top and just tap. I don't know. Oh. It was the dumpster diving one because I saw your other live dumpster dive. I thought so too, but... Okay, so... I'm just going to keep going and assume that you guys are going to see this at some point. Okay, so for the most part, she is ready to be sprayed again and sanitized. And some people cut them. Um, it depends on how bad it is. Sometimes I have to cut it. And sometimes it makes it look a little neater if you cut it. Versus not. Okay. So let me put that down. Clean this off one more time. Spray it with alcohol. Sometimes because baby wipes are not lint free, I end up with some lint, so I try to... Alright. And I try, I use 90% alcohol, guys, because it dries faster, has less water in it. Um, it. I find that the lower alcohol content tends to change the consistency of makeup. And so I try to avoid using lower than... Um, 80 really. I don't use anything lower than 80% alcohol. So. Alright you guys. She is runway ready. Okay, so see this is how we know there's a concealer or something on the top up here. you see that? It's got the mirror. And it looks like it's got a little baby concealer. Underneath it. So we're going to take it. It was pretty well sealed, but... Sometimes I have to blot it a little bit, which I know sounds funny, but that's what I have to do. So. And I told you guys I try to use as much of my baby wipe as I can. So we're going to use that to kind of smooth this down. Okay. Use this to clean off the edges. Alright you guys, 
So I, um, I did this one because you can do uh, the stick foundation like this. You can do concealer sticks, eyeshadow sticks, lipsticks if they give you the crayon that goes, the crayon tip. Um, you can do all of that the exact same way that I just did this one. And sometimes I do go back around the edges of it and seal it with a lighter again. It just depends on whether it's sealing or not. But if you guys watched my other one, you guys knew this was pretty souped. And now it's usable. Ta-da! That's how that's done. So, let's do another one, right? Okay. So this is a MAC lipstick, and I'm pretty sure I have the crayon. They gave me the crayons to pretty much all of them. Oh, this is getting already released. Look. Ew. Okay, so first things first. I get my sponge and my hot soapy water. And without getting on the inside yet, I'm not ready for the inside yet. I'm, I'm doing the outside. I just, again, I press and roll. Press and roll. Okay, and sometimes I gotta rinse my other hand off because it's gonna make it dirty where I just cleaned it. It just depends, so. Yep, I see the crayon down there. Okay, so can you see that? Where I'm, I press and roll, just gently. And this is a Revlon. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't typically clean up Revlon. Um, I thought it was another MAC. It was not. But at least to show you guys how, how I do it. Okay. So I've cleaned up the outside now. Put that back in my hot soapy water. Put my dry napkin. And I go against, like if I was trying to close the lipstick so that way it doesn't start coming out at you. All right, because I'm, again, I'm not ready for the inside yet. Okay, so. Let's see here. Sometimes it takes some work. Okay. Now I go in, and you see how some of the soup got on the inside. Somebody asked me earlier, how do you unsoup the inside of lipstick? It's not easy, all right, guys? It is very hard to do, but I start with a dry towel, and I try to get as much product that is not supposed to be in there, right? Because I don't want to scrape the actual lipstick. But I try to get as much product out. Oop, don't turn. Turn against, turn against, like you're trying to close it. <clears throat> okay. Spin. And spin, spin. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my hands off here. Okay, and then get my baby wipe. And we're gonna go in and do the same thing, only this time because I started with the dry one, right? I want to get as much of the product out of it that's not supposed to be in there as possible. So I balled up the baby wipe and I put it in. I'm trying to not touch the lipstick down there, but it really doesn't matter if you do. You're not doing it wrong if you touch the lipstick at the bottom. But I'm trying not to, and the reason I'm trying not to is I really just want to get the tube clean, which is easier said than done sometimes. So load it in there like a bullet. <laughs> okay. See? I'm getting all that product out so that it'll come out clean. Now we start spinning, and the, the last thing I do is I spin it all the way up to where the, <clears throat> the plastic is exposed. And I wipe the edges clean. Okay. And now we're going to start getting the product off. So remember, we're going to remove what product is not supposed to be there. This is obviously a hot pink lipstick, not a brown lipstick. So we take a clean part of our baby wipe. Look, it's already. Anybody saying anything, babe? No, not yet, but we have 18 viewers. Oh, good. Okay. 
He can read comments, I just couldn't, because obviously you see this is a pretty intensive process. I can talk during it, but I can't exactly. Read comments, hold the phone, talk in, clean makeup. I mean, if I was an octopus, maybe. <laughs> All right, so dry towel, then baby wipe. And see, like there's still some brown down in the crevice. So I really try to push that. Hi, baby. Okay, love you. My husband's going to sleep, so. I'll put your jacket in the dryer. Okay, guys, so. I got all of that product pretty much off. Now, again, I try to use as much of the towel as possible. We don't want to waste if we don't have to. Okay, so we're going to set her down. And we're going to take our alcohol and a sprayer. Okay? So let, the, let her sit while we find the crayon here. Okay, so here's our crayon tip. They seeped it pretty good. I spat the other one though. That's true. So we're gonna take our dry towel first, which is a it's getting a little less dry, but that's okay. Again, it's the same lipstick, same product, so we're just trying to get it off. And I gently don't squish it because it's real easy to to misshape it. Just gently start rolling it and getting all of that product off that's not supposed to be there. I'm not trying to be rude, but what product are you trying to save? That lipstick is at its expiration date. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, Nicole Lungaroo. Girl, you don't even know. You don't even know. <laughs> what? To, to be fair, they asked me to do a cleanup video for soup. Um, soup is really hard to clean up after. And if you want to salvage stuff or learn how to salvage stuff, you've got to figure out your ways around being able to, um, you know, get the get what's left of the product anyway. Why let it go to waste? If you can get it clean and sanitized, why not? But good point, girl. Good point. She said it looks like it's dead. It does look like it's dead. That's why we're trying to revive it. Give it CPR. Okay. I don't save lipsticks from the dumpster. Anything else is all right. I don't typically either, girl. I was just talking about that. If you watch my video of this actual haul where I'm revealing it, I talk about that I don't save lipsticks. Um, it's very rare. The only reason I did, and if you watch the haul, you'll see the bag and the way that it looked and why I chose to keep these. Um, but yeah. It's few and very, very few and far between that I will salvage lipsticks out. But I know how, so may as well show you guys, right? I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm really hoping you aren't reselling the lipstick. The only time that you uh, resell anything like that, it has to be on dumpster diving sites. I only resell anything and it is marked and labeled as, as dumpster dive. They know what it is. There is never any kind of, I'm going to pretend that I'm giving you some kind of new, fresh makeup. No, I don't play that game. Um, I sell strictly on those sites so people shopping there know where they came from. I mean, they're not on that site if they didn't. It's just like you wouldn't be on this site if you didn't dive. So, or want to dive or be interested in diving. MAC lipsticks are bomb. I agree. Who said that? Souping in white pants. You're brave. I am brave. It's because I don't care. We have bleach. <laughs> we do, and even if not, these I've gotten plenty of wear out of them, and I just got a bunch of new pajama pants because found them at Bell's. I don't dive. I just thought about it, but it's never happened. Uh, what do you do with these personal use? Sometimes. Heck yeah. When I first started diving, it was all for personal use. I didn't do it for anybody else. I wanted the makeup. <laughs> um, all the more reason why I tell you things like I don't save Revlons typically. Why would I waste my time? saving a Revlon other than to show you guys how to save lipstick. Um, but what I'm doing over here with the Max is going to be way easier because I don't have to clean it off. The Max are 
super, super simple. I mean, I, I'm going to clean them off. Please let me, let me clarify here. Um, they'll be cleaned off, but I don't have to do this complete process. The complete process is really rough. That was a non-souped box. This is a souped box. So I'm just trying to show you guys the difference. I'm a diver and a seller, and even though I resell dive items, if I pull it out the dumpster in that condition, it goes right back in. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to each their own. I, I don't... However you want to do it, girl, nobody's nobody's telling you you're wrong for putting it back. Um, I just am showing everybody if they want to use what's left of perfectly good product, that there is ways to go about doing that. Thank you for this video. I hope to find a soup box one day and now I'll have a little cleanup info. Absolutely, guys. So, Okay, so see how I've gotten her all... She's just normal again okay right her here okay see a little shine that's all i really want that's why i want a soup box personal use personal use yeah and a lot of people do like i said i don't resell often but when i do Everything's marked and labeled as to what it is because I don't believe in, um, you don't want to trick people. That's not, that's not right. That's not fair. But there's times where like, I don't like a certain palette or I won't use certain colors. Um, and I've cleaned them. You know what I mean? So if somebody else wants to get the use out of them, knowing that I did the work, um, yeah, I'll, I'll sell it to them. In the previous video, we requested it. If you're going to hate on her, just exit the vid. Aw, no, she's just, she's just saying what she personally does. I don't think she's hating at all. I think she's just saying what she personally feels like when she sees certain things. Everybody has a, a requirement, okay. right? Yeah. A quality qu control that you do. Uh, believe me, you can ask my son. There's stuff I want to take, and I, I just can't. Yeah. I can't salvage it sometimes. It's, not, it's unsalvageable. Um, so I don't think she's trying to hate, guys. I think she's just trying to you know explain how she does... Her diving, which is totally cool. We don't judge. Um, I mean, I hop in dumpsters for a living. I'm not about judging people. So, okay. So, we're getting... Y'all are getting an easy soup box today, but at least it'll kind of give you a tutorial on what you can do. Okay. Dry my little gloves here so that I can keep going. So, oh, there was a lid. There sure was. There's a lid, okay? Soupy lid. Let's start getting the main product off. Okay. And dry wiping helps a lot so that you don't mess up your water any more than you absolutely have to, right? I want to keep my water as clean as possible that I'm cleaning with. <clears throat> Does anybody else clean up their soup? Is there anybody else that cleans up lipsticks or even cares about lipsticks? This is awesome. Thanks so much for doing this. You're welcome. Anytime, guys. At least you guys can see how it's done so you can maybe get an idea of saving your own when for another I, time. When I used to dive at Ulta, they poured so much lotion and foundation, it was really bad. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I mean, there's days where you can ask my son. We've had complete... Alcohol. Alcohol spray. Is it not easier to use a Q-tip to clean the inside of the tube? Genuinely intrigued, not Sh judging. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. The only reason I don't is because I'm not trying to add more to my personal process, but you can totally use that in your process if that makes it easier for you. Um, there are times where I have to pull out the Q-tips because the opening is so small. Like, let me get you one of these. The opening's so small there, and I still want to sanitize in there. Does that make sense? I get a dropper and I put 90% alcohol in there and then I actually shake it back and forth and I leave it open overnight and let it dry out. But to get all that stuff out before I will add the alcohol and sanitize it, I will go and take a Q-tip and run that through with alcohol. Again, the Q-tip will be saturated in alcohol and just clean it completely out. Okay, so there are times where I do pull them out. Um, I just, I try to make the process as easy and efficient as possible, so. Um, this is a bath bomb. I'm not going to clean it up just because it's still in the package and I'm just going to open it in the bath and dump it in. 
And again, it's covered in a mask, in a black charcoal mask, but y'all can judge if you want. I don't care. Um, all right, guys, let's see. Love this hot soapy water, man. This is everything you want it to be. Okay, so this is a whole bottle. I just close it tight, drop it right in. Wash it like a dish. Where'd my sponge go? My spongy. Scrub back and forth, get her all. And this, now I can see what it is. It is a sweet and shimmer, shimmer body mist in winter citrus. So they must be getting rid of it because it was the winter collection. All right, and I'm getting ready for spring. But I'm a winter colors girl, so I like winter colors when they're getting rid of them. Oh, sorry. Thank you, son. Okay, so sealed bottles like this, like I said, I'll just drop them right in that hot, soapy water. And there you go. And it's full to there. Awesome. Thanks for the info, and thank you... Uh, to whoever is helping you read the comments. No, Thank yes. you. That's my son. He's awesome. He's my little diving buddy, and he helps me with that. What is... Is that a MAC highlighter? This is an e.l.f. highlighter, and this is a butter bronzer. Ooh, I like that butter bronzer. Honestly, these live videos are great and all, but you're personally... Personality makes them so much better. Love watching. Oh, thanks, guys. You're awesome. I'm just trying to help other people to see the environment, and hopefully we can together, you know, put a little dent in what's going into the landfills versus um, what can be used. I mean, you know, I, I get where the girls are coming from, that they don't want to take the lipsticks, but I really do do this on an environmental basis as far as I'm trying to keep things out of the landfill. I want my kid to have something to grow up, you know, and have for their kids on this planet. I'm cleaning the Anastasia lid for that bright brow um, balm, by the way. So, same thing. I, it's just like dishes, right? I, I come out here and do little dishes, mini dishes. Random. Do you keep tester mascara and clean it up or toss it? Ooh. I know people are weird about mm -mm. using used mascara. No, so... Yeah, I don't judge. Again, I don't judge. Um, unless it is my favorite mascara on the planet, <laughs> which is Benefit Bad Girl. Um, no, I don't do it. And even then, I'm really particular. And here's why, guys. I don't want pink eye. I just don't. Um, that makes me nervous. As far as, like, lip stuff, I feel like I can sanitize that well enough that I'm not going to get herpes or anything from it. Um, but, you know... There, there's a lot to be said for it. They are testers. So when you start playing with stuff with your eyes, you know, a, a spin-out eyeliner, I can sanitize that. I can't sanitize as well when it comes to that. But I have saved my mascaras before, and I'll tell you the way I do that. Um, I sanitize them the same way I do with the lip lippies, and I go in and clean it out with a Q-tip of alcohol. And then I add in my drop of 90% alcohol. And what's wrong? Oh, uh, there's a long thing oh. in the comments. Um, I put in my, my droppers of 90% alcohol, and I let it completely um, dry overnight. And then I actually add into it saline or contact solution, um, about four drops into the bottle. And then I close it with a sanitized wand, shake it, and leave it again overnight, and it's usually ready to go. Uh, it doesn't burn, doesn't cause any problems. And thus far... Knock on wood, I haven't had any issues, but it's going far between that I'll grab me a mascara. Okay, guys, this is the tart that they cut. I'm not going to clean it. It's just not worth it. There's a lot of product in there, guys, but it's just not worth it to me. If it was uncut, I would have cleaned that up in a heartbeat. But because they've cut these two, I'm going to say no, no for this one. And I'm sorry, guys, if that makes you sad. It makes me sad, too, though. Honestly, I just want to dive at Ulta for perfume, and that's why I did it. It's my unicorn. That's my unicorn. I want a perfume haul so bad. Did I not just tell you that today, son? Yeah. I want a perfume haul so <laughs> bad I can taste it, you guys. I want a bottle of cologne. Yeah, that's what he... He's really been asking for cologne. Just just one, but... Okay, guys. I, I can't promise you that I can save this. 
So uh, we're going to try. All right, we're live and I know it. We're going to attempt to save this uh, Anastasia Brown. <laughs> the brown gel. Ah, I hate that. I keep finding these brow gels souped. This is the second or third souped Anastasia brow. Yeah, I throw them back into just want to see your input. You throw which ones back into the mascaras? Yeah, same person. Okay. Right. Yeah, um, like I said, I just, again, to each their own, right? I'm not going to judge if you hop in, get mascaras. Um, you know, tr please, 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 whether it's for personal use or otherwise, please try your best to sanitize that as much as possible. Your eyes are irreplaceable. So you're not a fan of keeping mascara, but, but what I'll other keep lipstick. what other items do you personally leave behind? Uh, cut, typically cut items like this. Anything cut, I typically will will leave. I don't like um, bringing more stuff to my house, right? But sometimes it happens. It's okay. That brow gel seems salvage, salvageable, kinda. Kinda, right? Exactly. And I feel the same way. Whoever said that. Um, I feel like it's kind of salvageable. I have a baby wipe and I want to dry wipe. <laughs> okay, so you see how the top of this brow gel has foundation and um, some of that charcoal mask in it? Okay, so first things first, try to drip out as much as you can. Flip it upside down. Try to drip it out. Okay, and then again in a spinning motion, I'm going to start spinning that brow gel. Okay, get a get a fresh clean spot on the napkin and spin again. Okay, I'm definitely getting mask out of here. I can see the stringiness of it. I'm gonna keep going here, guys. It looks salvageable. I might have actually got one that has a good amount of bra Look at that, guys. That's coming out pretty good. What do you think? Kara wants to know, how do you clean powder or cream foundations? Oh, girl. Okay, one of bane of my existence is powder cream foundations. Um, you don't. No, I'm just kidding. Much like this. <coughs> this is a very similar consistency and texture to that. And so what I'm doing here is basically the only way you would be able to salvage it. So again, I'm wiping and wiping and wiping until I get down to pure product. Okay, I want what is meant to be in here, not what they souped it with. Okay. Wow, that's actually, that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I thought that was going to be a little bit harder to do. Um, but what I am going to do, I'm going to take and wrap the whole thing a little baby again, right? And spin, spin, spin. Okay, I'm going to set her down, and now I get a clean part of the cloth again, and we're going to spin. Okay. But how do you sanitize to prevent possible skin infections? Uh, well, again... Everything I do, I utilize the 90% um, alcohol for, and then I also use their actual hygienic cleanser here. Um, and so far, so good. Again, knock on wood. I'm not the only person that does this either, and lots and lots and lots and lots of people um, sanitize and clean up their makeup and reuse it. So... That's not something that is unheard of, even not dumpster diving. I mean, there's people that I've traded makeup before with my friends and we'll sanitize it, go through. Sometimes we've had to repress stuff because it broke. I mean, makeup's makeup, right? So. You're definitely saving that one, and Kara said thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so I got all the product out, and that is pure brow gel. I started with a dry towel, and I spin. My spinning motion is the key there, okay? Spin, spin, spin. And now my alcohol, 90% alcohol, spray and let that dry. And I have my little lid here that I've washed out with hot soapy water. And just for, for fun, we're going to sanitize that too. Same with the lid here. 
Okay, so here's our lipstick, our Revlon. Okay. How do you guys clean your makeup? Like, what do you guys do when you find soup if you don't know how to clean it? Are y'all like just throwing it back and saying forget it? Because that would make me sad. <laughs> Do you wash or throw your towels out? Uh, so I have towels specifically for makeup. Just like I have clothes specifically for dumpster diving, I have towels specifically designated for cleaning. So I use my cleaning towels and I only use my cleaning towels. I don't use my bath towels or my dish towels or anything like that. Um, I only use cleaning towels for cleaning makeup. So, okay guys, so this one's gonna be easy too because guess what they did? They put that nice little gel mask on it, and it dried all nice and pretty, so I can just take the layer off. And that's what I'm going to do. Spinning motion. Remember, I spin, spin. I haven't found any makeup yet. That's okay. Keep looking. I tell everybody, dive, dive deep. Um, if you're going to do this and you want the good stuff, you got to hop in. If you guys go back and watch some of my videos on this page, you'll see I get a soup about every single day. And that's almost unheard of, as y'all well know. It, it always seems like there's like a darker part up here in every single one of these. Like there's the lighter part where it looks like it hasn't been touched, mm -hmm. and then down there. Yeah, I feel like they kind of half ruined some of this stuff. So, And you'll see that some of the powder starts to come off. That's actually what I'm looking for. I want it to get past that pasty part because you don't want toothpaste on your face, right? We don't want that, that type of texture. We want a powder texture if it's meant to be a powder, okay? So I just keep rubbing with my dry cloth until I start getting that powder texture. Okay, so they're starting to say how they clean. Uh, Lauren says, baby wipes, paper towels antibacterial soup Clorox wipes. I use everything. I'm a nurse, so I'm a clean freak. Lol, I get crazy with my cleaning. Ha ha. Good girl. And then Lori says alcohol and di Dawn dish, dish soap. Yes, Dawn is my favorite in alcohol. The reason I don't use bleach is because it's very hard on the skin. Um, so if you get bleach in a product and you put that on my skin personally, it will burn me. Um, so I do not use any kind of bleach. I'm actually a paramedic by trade, so I am also kind of a uh, germaphobe as far as that goes. Um, but I know that different temperatures kill different bacteria. So uh, if you rinse with super hot soap or wash with super hot soapy water and rinse with cold, you're killing different forms of bacteria. And then alcohol will kill just about any bacteria on the planet. Hence the reason, as a nurse, you know, any site before you give them a stick or you put anything in them, you are going to sanitize with alcohol. So it looks like they maybe scraped this with a pen or something. I don't exactly know. But I can get the scratches out pretty easily. It. I can't tell if it's scratches or... Uh, Lauren says alcohol too and a spray and then uh, like I said I haven't yet so how do you get in and out of the dumpster I'm five feet low I'm scared to stay stuck in there oh baby yeah be careful um, first of all don't dive by yourself go with somebody in case there's a problem um, secondly a step ladder is a fantastic little thing to stick in the back of your car because if you have a little step ladder that you can pull out to get in you can also reach over, grab that step ladder, put it right back into the dumpster, and get out of it. Would you be selling some of your stuff? I would be, yes. I am on the Facebook selling sites for dumpster diving. So feel free to look me up. I do bundles. Everything is listed as dumpster dive. I do not hide the fact that that's where I got it from. The Lauren says alcohol, alcohol, alcohol is my best friend. Girl. I own more alcohol at this point than I know what to do with. I'm waiting for my alcohol haul to, from CVS. <laughs> I'm going to go hit CVS one day and they're going to have gotten rid of, or, or DG, and they're going to have gotten rid of a bunch of alcohol. So, Love, Loving your score, Jelly over here. And then Lauren said, have you ever gone stopped by the cops or security? Yes. We just got stopped a couple times this week. It's 
starting to be almost every day now, but... They like us. Yeah. We actually saved a fellow diver. So, but we want to tell them that story. So, uh, we went to the Harbor Freight uh, dumpster to go see if they had any, like, tools that we got. We got that from a suggestion from y'all. And uh, there was a fellow dumpster diver there, and right as we got there, we started tying, and then a officer pulled up, and he was like, we're busted. And my mom goes over to the officer and, like, says some stuff, and she's very persuasive and pretty much saved the other dumpster diver. <laughs> he was very grateful that I, w I happened to be there, so... <laughs> He does not think he would have gotten out unscathed by the police had I not been standing there. But basically what I tell officers when they come up, I wave, I smile, I go and approach them very happily. Like, hey, what's up? I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're out here and checking on me. Thanks. You know, like, I'm glad you're doing your job. Um, and then I explain to him that I, I'm doing exactly what it looks like I'm doing. I am diving in dumpsters to try to reuse, recycle, renew, and help the environment. I am a local artist and I do art pieces and I do them with reused and recycled materials. The only way you can get reused and recycled materials is to hop in dumpsters or landfills. So. And they're usually pretty nice about it too. All right guys, now here's a little trick for you because I do not like putting too much alcohol on my powder. You guys know what I mean. If you're using alcohol, use 90% so there's less water in it. But any alcohol at all on this is going to change the texture a little bit. It just does. So my little trick. I get my alcohol. And it's already on a mist mode. But I actually put it pretty high up. And I just kind of let it. You know how you used to spray your perfume and walk through it? Yeah. Kind of the same thing. So I spray it and I kind of I walk it through it. Okay. And that just helps keep the integrity of the powder itself. But again, I completely wiped off that top layer until I got down to actual powder there. So I know you mentioned duct tape, but what other tools do you keep in your car for diving? Oh, God, lots and lots and lots of flashlights, backup <laughs> flashlights. I just left my favorite picker somewhere at a dumpster the other day, and I was super sad about it. We have a little grabber thingy that we keep. Yeah, now we have this crappy grabber that I had to go get. That's not even at all what I... It's not my picker. But, um, you know, what can you do? So, Okay. Same exact process that I just did with that other one, I'm going to do with this one. But I'm going to skip this for right now, just because I wanted to kind of show you guys what I do with the wands. And what I do with some of these lip... Um, the actual like lip gloss type lipsticks because those are a little interesting to clean and this this goes back to completely your comfort level guys if you are uncomfortable in any way shape or form using something that requires you to have a wand that was out of it and in a garbage bag or um, if it requires you to get a wand that you're putting on your eye that was in a garbage bag, I mean, that's, I get it. You don't have to explain to me why you wouldn't want to do that. It's totally fine. But I have zero problem because if you see the opening in there, it's tiny. It's really hard to get anything in that, believe it or not. They try to soup this stuff and they can't. So it's not even souped really. I'm just going to go and wipe it clean. You look like you could talk your way out of anything. I try. <laughs> I and, certainly try to talk my way out of the cops. And she honest. succeeds, yes. I'm trying to talk my way out of the cops bugging us, that's for sure. And I feel like if they're made aware of it too, they're less likely to bother us, right? If they're aware that, oh, that's that lady that dumpster dives, they're not going to bother me anymore. It's not like they're going out of their way either. They're doing their job, making sure no one's dumping and giving us a bad name. And Man, we've been seeing a lot of personal, a lot of personal dumping lately. I cannot stand that. I, um, as a matter of fact, I made a joke earlier to my son when we were cleaning out the garage that I was like, yeah, we're going to go dump all this stuff next dumpster dive. Oh, we're not dumping anything next dumpster dive. Um, but I made the joke because he knows how much I hate that they do that. So, okay. What do you usually say? I'm guessing to the, um, officers. Uh, yeah, I tell them that um, I am dumpster diving. I always ask, is there a city ordinance against it? Because I looked it up and I didn't see one. Um, I always ask, you know, is, is it okay that I'm here? I'm here to, um, I am dumpster diving. I'm actually here to reuse, recycle, 
and renew my products or any products, period. Um, I'm a local artist and I use things to make art pieces that I find salvaged. So, okay, so now I made my little, I'm, I'm starting to clean the inside of this now. I start with a dry and just press and roll, okay? Has anyone ever gone arrested? No. No, no, no. Um, again, I check my local laws, so we're not ever diving where it we're not supposed to be. And I don't go ever into anything that says no trespassing. Um, I don't go to where there's locks. I don't lock. I don't pop locks. Every once in a while, I'll try to pop a dumpster lid. It just depends. But that's about as far as I'll go. So, okay, guys, I did the same thing. I put a little, made a little roundabout, right? Like when you have a bloody nose. <laughs> I told myself I'd say I'm moving and looking for boxes. Yeah, or tell people that your uh, your kid lost his Invisalign or his retainer and now y'all are having to search everywhere you went that day because he doesn't remember where he put it. Or my favorite is, is I was washing my hands and I lost my wedding ring and I have to find it or my husband's going to kill me. So yeah, if you guys want to throw out there, you know, any of those, they work pretty well. Think if you're nice and try to tell the police why you do what you do and not be a butthole yeah. about it, they're more likely to understand and go about their way. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, all right, guys, so I've taken this and I just keep, I keep spinning, right, twist, and I'll push a little bit more of that baby wipe down in there and twist until I can, again, this wasn't souped, but I'm showing you what I would do if it was. Never pop, lock, and drop it. Lol, sorry, just a cheesy joke. Oh, that's nice. I love it. I love it. We're very cheesy, so we don't have a problem with that. So. Okay, guys, so then um, I didn't bring it out here because, again, I didn't have any soup of these today, but I still will do it when I go inside with them. Um, but I have a dropper, an actual, like, dropper that I fill with alcohol. And um, for these, I put three drops of alcohol in the large ones. The smaller ones, I put two drops of 90% alcohol. Um, for now, I am going to spray it again, sanitize that, okay? So, now what we do is we find the wand over here that matches it, or a wand anyway. It doesn't have to be the perfect wand. It can be any wand at all. Okay, so here would be a wand, for instance, and I got my, my lippy all done but now what I want to do is take my wand I can't use this yet it's gonna take a while because all my wands will go into my hot soapy water okay these soak in hot water for one hour I drink I rinse them all off in cold water actually I rinse them all off in hot water first to make sure all the lipsticks off and then I rinse them again in cold water and then I completely I'll saturate them with alcohol and let them soak overnight pull them out let them dry overnight and they're ready to go. So I won't go into that whole thing because that's going to take a while. Yeah. But um, that is about it, you guys. That is the a powder save, which you guys can do this powder save with um, your palettes, your bronzers, your blushes, all of it. Um, it can be done. Sometimes they soup stuff so bad that it becomes, you know, a cream foundation when it was supposed to be a powder. Uh, that's when I throw it out, just so you know. I will throw out palettes if they're just to the point that everything's cream instead of powder. So, I don't know that this e.l.f. was worth saving, but at least to show you guys what it looks like. You know, you can definitely get some a lot of product and a lot of use out of that. And then here's our brow gel down here. And it's ready to go. I can take these off. I wonder why most CVSs in my area has locks. I have been wanting to dive there. Seems like they always have good stuff and throwing it out. We got some major uh, candy load today from yeah. there. So. Well, we, we got a working TV from CVS the we first did. time. I don't think we were supposed to get that from there. No. I think that was personal trash that someone threw out. Yeah. But yeah, we did get a TV. Or maybe they were throwing out the... How often do you dive multiple times a day? Every day. <laughs> Seven days a week. Yeah. Sunday through Monday. Monday through Sunday. Have you ever found baby wipes or alcohol? That would be a score because you're using yes, what you find right? to wash what you find. So here's what I did score that I was happy about for cleaning up was a ton of these, right? I don't care if they say 2018. Yeah, probably like 
Oh, 25? No. no. No, there's a lot no. more than that. Oh. There's like 50 packs of these. Um, so I got these because, again, they were in the dumpster anyway, a clean party dumpster. And we pulled them out so I could use them for makeup. And then same with baby wipes. Anytime I find even like an open baby wipe, I'll take the top few out and use the rest of it. Um, oh, yeah, alcohol. I found the other day some nail polish remover. That was a big help. And I found um, always this. Remember, guys, this hygienic cleanser. If you find this in the Ulta dumpster, it means the bottle's broken. Fair warning. That's what that means. So what I do is I take this hygienic cleanser regardless, okay? I'll tape up the bottle or sometimes I'll get a better bottle. It just depends. Um, this particular one I chose to tape up because it seemed to work fine to tape it up. But sometimes I just have to transfer it to another bottle. But this hygienic cleanser that comes from Ulta, they throw these bottles out if they get a crack on the bottom. So grab it. Use it. That's what it is meant for. <laughs> it's awesome. I feel like everyone here would have a field day in my area. Nothing is locked. It's blocks and blocks of stores, only the dumpsters are super high and deep low. Hence why I say I've never tried. You say LOL or LOL? LOL. I say LOL, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, we were just talking earlier about how do you get in and out of a dumpster if it's really tall. I use a step ladder or I throw my son in. <laughs> um, you know, there's all kinds of ways. You need good gripping boots. You need some good gripped shoes. Oh, we need to tell them about what happened earlier. So earlier we went over to our next town over to the U. This was yesterday, actually. It wasn't today. We went the next town over to the U, and I'll be danged if we didn't go to the Kirkland um, dumpster right next to the Ulta one. And I hear crunch, crunch, crunch under my tires. And I said, oh, son, was that glass? Oh, son, was that glass? And he's like, Mom, I think it was. And so we get out of the car, and sure enough, guys, I don't know if somebody was marking their territory. I don't know if somebody was, I don't know what it was, but it looked like they had literally taken, like, a crystal vase and just shattered it all over. Thank God, thank God, I did not get a flat tire. Um, but I was actually able to, we kind of swept it up, and so now we know to bring a broom. So we have a little mini broom that we now bring, that was our... We always add stuff, right? Every every day we were finding out these cool new things to add. Um, I take a broom. I take a rake, a big metal rake, because it's great for if you are short, you can sit there and pick stuff up with a big metal rake, and it helps a lot, especially the ones that are like a three-prong metal rake that kind of arc. They're fantastic. Um, of course, a, a grabber, a picker. Um, I keep bags. So somebody said the other, earlier they found a bunch of unused Ulta bags. I found those. I found unused Bell's bags. I grab them when I find them and I keep them in my yeah. car. So that's what I use for my hauls. When I do my makeup stuff, I can just grab a bag and shove it in there. And so I keep every every bag I find. We have a couple hundred uh, Bell's bags. Now, when I say ba every bag I find, I mean when they're the whole packages of the shopping bags that they've just thrown away. Um, baby wipes, I keep disinfectant wipes. We keep tons of hand sanitizer in the car. Um, Probably about four pairs of leather or fabric gloves, and then at least one, to, if not two, boxes of surgical gloves. Um, flashlights, flashlights, flashlights. Did I mention flashlights? Extra batteries if you can. And I keep a uh, plastic covered tablecloth as well, so that I can put it down on the, on my floor or my carpet of my car and put stuff on it, and it's not going to stain it or cause problems. I always find little scent. You know those little pop-open scent things? Um, you know what, guys? Here. Come in here since we're done with that. I'm going to show you some of my other haul. But you know those pop Okay, sorry. We're back. Everything's fine. I see all the makeup on my door from me touching. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, so this was our CVS haul. Hey, guys. We will never need Hershey's chocolate again. So, I'm going to need all that makeup because apparently I'm going to be getting fat. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. I ain't got no problem with a little extra junk in my trunk. I told you guys earlier they had thrown out these uh, one-step one pregnancy tests because they were supposed to be two sticks. So, somebody opened it up and they left one in there. Not that I'm getting pregnant anytime soon, but, you know, it's always good to have around for people. Especially since I have a son who has a girlfriend. Oh, girlfriend. 
These discs are those menstrual discs, but they actually were sealed completely. The box had been, I guess, just open, but they were sealed and in the, a bag in a bag. Oh, they do that a lot. In a bag, in a bag, in a bag, in a bag. Okay. And then what was I gonna show? Um, not sure. There's some more. When you've, okay, when you've had to deal with cops, have they been nice or told you it wasn't allowed or anything? So uh, the cops have been nice to me. I always ask, am I allowed to be here? I do have a son with a girlfriend. It scares me. No, the cops have always been nice. They don't They don't say anything too much to me. They kind of laugh at me sometimes. What is one big item that you found? I found a lot of big items. Let's see. This is a pretty one. Let's go in here. Sorry, we're moving. We're getting ready to move. That's one right there. My pretty chalkboard. I found this cool little uh, in the box, never used. Everybody will know what this is. And so it still has the original batteries that are wrapped up in it. So that was pretty cool. We did get a, where's our, our karaoke machine? There it is. We just got this the other night and I actually got one in a box but it wasn't a karaoke machine it was just a light up speaker so and then my little mirror I've gotten a Wii Connect he's gotten a Wii Connect what else Bob have you gotten I've Tell gotten him. a couple like PS3 games a bunch of books PSP um, AirPods yeah. Air, yeah um, two, two different things with AirPods I've gotten a really cool like a uh, Wii charging set like little briefcase thing Oh, his people. watch. Yeah, I got he got really a brand new um, nice Izod, Izod, I don't know how you say it, I-Z-O-D, uh, watch, brand new. And then I got this watch and all these pretties. And then the... Got some really nice jackets. Uh, so the TV we mentioned. I've got, got a complete nice... uh, candy haul here from the DG. And then my little... 